I talk to people all the time who are in some state of stuckness. And to your point, the stimuli from the exterior are confusing them and distracting them from your, like as you said, the ikigai and, and finding that inner purpose. Do you find that people know how to meditate on this? And, and can you help to well, enlighten me? How, how would I embrace meditation in order to determine my ikigai and, and find my way out? Right. Number of different techniques. So one technique, which I encourage everyone to do is to journal every day. Mm. And this is not Dear diary, today I ate three chocolate chip cookies and feel bad about it. It's more of a of what um, the writer Julia Cameron calls morning pages, which is this idea of if you are an artist and you are blocked, a writer and you're blocked, uh, you use the journal to write about everything except the work that you're doing. It's all of the anxiety, the stream of consciousness that's coming up even to the extent of your being blocked at the journal process. It's a way of just getting words out of your head onto the page as a means to connect to your unconscious, to that part of you that already knows. So I write, and, and, and in, in her book, The Artist's Way, which I would definitely recommend, she talks about doing three pages a day. That's a lot to do. I, I use one of these Moleskine style notebooks and, yeah. and I, I basically do a page. So, Oh, that's very manageable. Right. So I do, a, I do a page longhand, uh, illegible mostly because I never reread it. It's not about collecting your thoughts that you're going to publish or share or whatever. It's about getting it out of your head. It's about experiencing this, retrospective, introspective uh, uh, insight that comes out from just listening to yourself think. And in that sense, it's very much of a meditative process because a lot of what meditation is about is listening, listening to what comes up, releasing the thought, letting it, letting it go, and waiting for the next one to come up. <laughs> and pretty soon, if you keep doing this, your all your thoughts are out. You're gone. You're not thinking about anything. You're just being in the moment. And that's enormously healing and restorative to be present. Just be present with yourself in a sense of acceptance of the moment. And from that moment, from that void, if you will, of nothing going on, ideas happen. Inspiration happens. You hear things right? From within, from that part of you that knows what's going on. 